Hello and welcome back to more Hearts of Iron 4. We're back with, um, half of a mod that I've played before. Some of you might remember Time Machine USA plus Spain. Well, this is just the Spain part, because that original mod, I think it's disappeared from the workshop. Time Machine USA also has its separate mod on the workshop now, but it is unfortunately out of date, and that's what I want to play again the most. On the other hand, I never got around to playing Spain in the original one, so uh, now's a good time as any. Ah, wonderful. It's going to be one of those mods where uh, there's some stuff missing. A uh, word of warning. I don't know shit about modern Spanish politics, so it's going to be a lot of stuff that goes over my head. I don't know who this man is. Well, I guess, uh, some things haven't changed in Spain over the last hundred years. I, 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 th I think you all know what kind of path I'm going to try and go down. There should never be any doubt. For my first advisor, I shall be getting Espana Bola. No, that is not the Spanish version of Ebola. I don't think I'm going to get him sacrificed. Pretty sure that'll help the fascist, and I don't want to do that. I'm not going fascist. No fascism. If I wanted to play fascist Spain, I'd play historical Spain. That'd be boring. Well, uh, once again, some things never change. I have to go into a civil war. Yay, civil war in Spain. This, this shouldn't be be as bad as it is in the base game, though, because, yeah, you don't have the, the debuffs and shit on the states. I should be fine. Oh, okay. Now that I'm at Civil War, I suddenly have generals and stuff. Okay. Nice to see that I uh, didn't get none. Weird that I have to wait for a Civil War to get all my generals and field marshals. Well, uh, King left. <laughs> but I wanted him in power. What do I do now? Everybody supports me. All right. Wow, I, everybody sent aid. Okay. <laughs> in fact, Austria is going to send division. Austria? Austria's going to do something in a Hearts of Iron game for once. Wow. They're not just going to be eaten by Germany. If the king will not lead us through this conflict, then Spanish Ebola will. I'm sorry, I get what event? I, I need to raise awareness about microplastics. I have microplastics in my balls. Why does that get me... Why does that get me tungsten and chromium? I told you I don't. Un I told you I don't know anything about modern Spanish politics. <laughs> I, I don't know. I guess we can promote promotion of beers. <laughs> yes, beer. Why would I ever click that? I. I like beer. I don't like beer, but I'm not about to say I don't because apparently that'll ruin me. Shit, I said it. Please don't hurt me. Discussing stone smuggling. What? Stone smuggling? Illegal stones? What? I don't know what's happening, but free artillery. Alright, Civil War's over. Time for another podcast episode. Support the Summer of Love. Instead of telling the incels to touch grass... We're going to tell them to touch ass. Gotcha. Brilliant solution. Damn it, the incels have yet to touch ass. Might be too far gone. That bastard scammed us. Those incels were never going to touch ass. We must find him. 
So I have three options here for replacing the king who fucked off. The legitimate heir, the, what was it, the nephew? Yeah, the nephew. Or Jesus. Um. Fuck it. Jesus is king of Spain. Haha. -ha. He has been captured. Or at least we can invest the money wisely. Ooh. Actually, that's very wisely. And wait, the Canary Islands? With the restoration of the monarchy to its full power, I think it is time we make some bolder claims. I should probably hurry up and invade Portugal before the world gets too spicy. All right, Portugal, nobody's here to save you. Union at last. Well, that was quick. Now, those are African colonies. And this pitiful shit of Equatorial Guinea. Sneak in and take Gibraltar. As one does. I've just realized that uh, throughout that entire debacle, my microphone has been muted. Whoops. Anyway, yes. Uh, what the fuck, UK? Why'd you declare war on me? Okay, um, everybody on the French border, I guess I'm starting world- I guess the UK is starting World War Two. Oh, fuck. I guess I gotta sit tight till Germany decides to go to war with Poland, which should be any time now. Fuck. Thank you, Germany. Please help me. Attempting offer Germany, but I have my own plans. Just be a good boy and kill France. Alright, and that is my border secure. Don't get anything from it, though. Ah, I can integrate Portugal. Glorious factories. And the unity of the nation, of course. Definitely no other motive. As much as Germany wants to be in their faction, I got other plans. Calling to the past, even further into the past than I've already teleported myself and the rest of the country of Spain. I've missed my chance to get Italy in my faction, so, uh... They should be easy enough to subvert. No hard feelings, Germany. But, you are Protestant. And that's a problem. Alright, time to start fucking with Italy's politics. Push buttons. I just noticed something about the Spanish Uprising decision. It doesn't seem to have a check for whether or not I'm in a faction with Italy. So I wonder, what will happen if I dissolve my faction and join the Axis and then press the button? <laughs> I'll, I'll have to save up my PP first. I only got 28. <laughs> Alright, I got the 150 PP I need for my experiment. Let's, uh... Dismantle the Holy League. Not that there was anybody in it. Germany immediately wants me in their faction. And I can press the button. And... I did not declare war. The game prevents me from declaring war. Okay. The game also prevented Spanish Italy from declaring war. Interesting. I may have broken that event. <laughs> Thanks for the shit, Italy. Mine now. Operation Bar Barbarossa has started. Now wait a minute. This focus doesn't give me a war goal on the Soviets. It gives the Soviets a war goal on me. Why? Damn it, I gotta go save Italy. Well, both of them. Oh, god damn it. 
Italy's going to explode. No, wait a minute. Okay, uh, it looks like Italy falling into civil war has failed because there's already a second Italy. So Mussolini literally just got shoved back into power. <laughs> I'm not sure much was accomplished. And that is this large British and American army encircled. Took a while. Um, but look at that. But look at what year it is and how much progress I've made. <laughs> My plans got thrown really out of whack, okay. So, I have these decisions I can do to either press an ultimatum on, or get a puppet war goal on South and Central American nations. So long as I have an estimated army strength ratio of 200% or more compared to them. What the fuck is going on in Peru? Why do I not have a 200% army strength ratio to them? What? Oh right, they're fascist. Okay, that's probably why. The AI tends to overbuild their army when they're fascist. Well, I'm keeping within my equipment constraints. I might be able to build another army. Well, seeing as how things are getting boring and stale, matey, uh... Time to spice things up by clicking all these buttons that I've been avoiding. Well, uh, I have a nice smattering of puppets now, but, uh... Oh. Oh no, Guatemala's gonna die. Just like cut off Mexico. Nah, they're gonna die. Guatemala's gonna die. But not before we seize the Panama Canal. All of Central America is now under my control, except for Honduras. They're a little bitch and said no, but I'm not going to declare war on them. Got enough to worry about with Mexico. Go Vichy France, capitulating Ireland. Oh my god, Greece is finally gone. Fucking Christ, that took forever. I mop up the rest of them. Doing what Italy cannot. Taking Egypt. Oh, uh, hi Denmark. Uh, welcome back to the land of the living and soon to be dead. Turkey is at war with the Soviet Union. And they have joined Japan. Well, I guess I don't need to worry about them joining the Allies like they usually do. <laughs> Oh. oh. I guess, uh... I guess Ethiopia had already left the Allies, but was still in the war. Now they're dead. War update. Uh, the conquest of Africa is going well, but slow, as usual. And, uh, Ireland is gone. The smelly British and their awful food are still here. The Soviets are almost dead, too. Also, somehow... Central America... Still here. All here. I don't know how. Oh, we got our first nuke. The atomic bombing of Württemberg. Uh... Oh, I think Germany lost the air war. I don't see any German planes. Uh... Oh, well, here they are. They're... Over in Russia. Okay. Still not many. Alright, time to join the war with uh, the Soviet Union. Declaring war on Iran. The United States has eaten a brick. Seriously, uh, J Japan is not feeling well. They have. They're, they went to war with the Soviets, and they still managed to take Pearl Harbor. Okay, well, there's the Pacific Fleet. It's along the coast. Is the problem that they don't own the Panama Canal? 
also it's been blown. Right. Is it over? The Soviet Union has capitulated. Finally. Hopefully Germany can redirect their troops towards taking out the UK and... I might not be actually ending this. <laughs> there might be no end. Yeah, I didn't... I didn't have much war score. I got, uh... <laughs> I got... One of their fleets. What's left of one of their fleets? Uh... I change of plans. If I'm going to... The UK is going to get ended. I'm going to have to do it myself. So, uh, taking this African army. To... Yeah, they'll be happy to get out of here. <laughs> Go and plan a naval invasion. Been that long, hasn't it? I have cord Athens. <laughs> Why can I do that? Why does it let me do that? Ah. They have nuked Paris. I don't think Free France would appreciate that. And here we thought we had to worry about the Nazis getting rid of the Eiffel Tower. No, the... The Americans or whoever did it, we just got rid of it instead. Not too late to switch sides, other France. Oh, that's a nice invasion force you have on that port there. It'd be a shame if I nuked it. <laughs> uh, it wasn't the London metro area, but London close enough. They didn't see it coming. Why did it have to be me that did this? Go spread my minions. End this finally. And the UK has capitulated to... J to Japan. They capitulated to Japan. I swear to God, Japan. You fucking... Ugh. Well, on the bright side, uh, Germany has already done the work for me to get a good naval invasion spot. How did Italy get occupation of Athens after I court it? What are you doing, Italy? Give it the fuck back. I know you got a clam on it. I got a fucking core on it. Little shit. Landing made. Got to push until I can't push no more. Hmm. I distinctly recall the American Navy being bigger than this. I wonder what could have happened. <laughs> I've been sinking it with my small navy. Just occurred to me, I should probably use some of my, uh... Random war goals I have laying around, so, uh... uh Cuba... Die. Don't mind me. Just nuking Atlanta. The Americans don't want to die. It's that time again. I have no self-control. No way, I'm watching nukes. Oops, it's happening again. <laughs> and it's over. Why do I keep doing this to myself? And so the Spanish Empire is... D Shut up, Japan. I don't care about your non-aggression pact. And so the Spanish Empire is, uh... 
Somewhat restored. I I'm not. I'm not gonna bother going to war with South America. Yeah. But most of Central America is mine once again. Oh yeah. Uh, Canada uh, got left alive along with. Free France is alive. Okay. But I don't have. Okay. It's my fault. I didn't have enough war score. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, it's a mess down here. Oh, God. I got all the Philippines. Yeah, that's enough looking at shit. It, it's, it's disgusting. All glory to the Spanish Empire. Jesus is our emperor. This guy's just a stand-in. Uh, and glory to Espana Bola. Would, this, this mod might have been funnier if I was if I knew anything about modern Spanish politics. Oh well, I will see you all next time.